Well, the western city of Lviv was considered a relatively safe place, and it was untouched until this morning when five missiles struck what local officials say were formerly military warehouses. They're not usually uh, keen on saying specifically what has been hit, but they do say that a, a, a garage, a tire plant, was also hit. In all, Seven people were killed, 11 people were injured, including a child. These are the first fatalities in the western city of Lviv. It all happened close to the train station, and why that is relevant is because all those refugees that you've seen coming from the eastern part of Ukraine and who've gone off to Poland by train, they would have had to go through the central station in Lviv. Now, there are no casualties reported there, but it happened very close uh, to the train station. I'm here in Kyiv outside the central post office and there is this is not a very uh, a scene that you would see every day but there are currently hundreds of people lined up outside the post office uh, because they want to get their hands on a stamp a very famous stamp now that many people will be selling on eBay for thousands and thousands of dollars you'll recall a few days ago um, that the flagship of the naval fleet of the Russian naval fleet in the Black Sea the Moskva was uh, was hit according to the Ukrainians they've taken credit for it but it sunk at the bottom of the water. It's that same ship that ordered Ukrainian soldiers to surrender in the first few days of the invasion. And we know that the soldiers famously responded to the commander, um, Russia, go bleep yourself. Well, that whole incident is now uh, on a stamp showing a Ukrainian soldier giving effectively the middle finger to the Moskva. And so here they are waiting up to six, eight hours to get their hands on that stamp and they say that it is a symbol of defiance for the Ukrainian people. It's a piece of history and they want their hands on it. Danielle Hamamjan, CTV News in Kyiv.